Eight, blood types and their hidden advantages. Let's get right into it. Number one, O positive. O positive is the most widespread blood type on Earth. Roughly 40% of the global population carries it. What makes it stand out isn't just its prevalence, but its compatibility. O positive red blood cells can be transfused into any RH positive recipient, whether their own type is A, B, AB, or O. In medical emergencies, when every second matters, this versatility makes O positive blood the go-to option for saving lives. Its abundance means that hospitals and blood banks depend heavily on O positive donors to maintain stable reserves. From an evolutionary point of view, type O played a key role in human endurance and adaptation. The lack of A and B antigens gives O carriers a biological edge against Plasmodium falciparum, the parasite that causes the most severe form of malaria. This resistance likely contributed to the survival of early populations living in malaria endemic regions. Researchers also believe that type O is closely tied to the hunter-gatherer era of human evolution. Its immune and digestive features seem optimized for high-protein diets and exposure to wild pathogens, a fitting design for humans before the agricultural revolution. However, the exposed IH antigen on O blood cells can make carriers more susceptible to pathogens such as cholera and norovirus. Additionally, O types generally have lower levels of certain clotting factors like von Willebrand factor. This reduces the risk of harmful blood clots, but increases the likelihood of bleeding and trauma or surgery. In short, O positive blood reflects both the strengths and trade-offs of evolution built for survival, yet not invincible. Number two, A positive. A positive is the second most common blood type worldwide, found in roughly 30% of the population. It's compatible with A positive and O positive donors, which makes it relatively easy to match for transfusions. What makes A positive biologically interesting is how it reflects humanity's transition from hunting to farming. As early humans began forming agricultural societies, their immune systems adapted to denser populations, frequent contact with domesticated animals, and bacteria associated with grain-based diets. This evolutionary shift left traces in type A individuals. Their immune response tends to be strong against many bacterial infections, a legacy of crowded ancient villages where disease spread easily. However, this same heightened immune sensitivity can contribute to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and clotting disorders. Higher levels of certain clotting proteins, including fibrinogen and von Willebrand factor, help the body heal quickly, but may also make A-types more prone to thrombosis and inflammation. Metabolically, A-types are often better suited to plant-heavy or vegetarian diets. Lower stomach acid levels and certain enzyme profiles allow them to process grains and vegetables efficiently, while diets high in red meat can sometimes be harder to digest. In essence, A-positive reflects the biology of order and cultivation, designed for stability, community, and endurance within structured environments. Number three, B-positive. B-positive is found in about 10% of the population, with the highest frequency across Asia and parts of the Middle East. It can safely receive blood from B and O types, making it moderately compatible. Evolutionary studies suggest that the B antigen first appeared among nomadic populations migrating through diverse climates, people who relied on both herding and trade rather than farming or hunting alone. The biological hallmark of B blood lies in its flexibility. Type B individuals tend to have efficient carbohydrate and lipid metabolism, helping them adapt to changing food sources, whether plant-based, dairy-heavy, or protein-rich. This metabolic versatility likely gave their ancestors an advantage during migration, famine, or environmental shifts. Immunologically, type B carriers often show a balanced response less overactive than A types, but more adaptive than O types. Their immune systems handle a wider range of bacterial and viral exposures, reflecting centuries of cross-continental movement and environmental variation. Today, B positive is sometimes associated with creativity, curiosity, and adaptability traits mirrored in its biology. In short, it's the blood type that tells the story of human exploration, resilient, open, and constantly adjusting to the unknown. Number four, AB positive. AB positive is the rarest of the Ray H positive blood types, found in less than 5% of the population. 
It's known in medicine as the universal recipient, meaning individuals with AB-positive blood can receive transfusions from any RH-positive donor. This compatibility makes it highly valuable in emergency care. Genetically, AB-positive is the youngest blood type, emerging only a few thousand years ago through the mixing of A and B populations. It represents a biological fusion, the coexistence of both A and B antigens on the same red blood cells. This combination, however, brings complexity. While it allows for universal compatibility in transfusions, it also correlates with a slightly higher risk of clotting disorders and vascular inflammation. From an evolutionary standpoint, AB-positive blood symbolizes human integration, the merging of once-isolated genetic lines into a unified whole. Its immune system is versatile, yet sometimes hypersensitive, mirroring the balance between strength and vulnerability. In a way, AB-positive is nature's experiment in diversity. It's rare, medically flexible, and genetically young, a reminder that human evolution is still unfolding, blending traits that once evolved in separation. Number 5. O negative. O negative is carried by about 7% of the population, but holds extraordinary medical importance. Because it lacks A, B, and RH antigens, it can be transfused to patients of any blood type. This makes it the universal donor the first and most trusted option in trauma and emergency situations when there's no time for blood typing. Hospitals rely on O-negative donors more than any other group. Every unit of their blood can mean the difference between life and death. However, the same lack of antigens that gives O-negative its universality also comes with drawbacks. O-negative individuals share the same vulnerabilities as O-positives, particularly to infections like cholera and norovirus, due to the exposed H antigen on their red blood cells. Another important medical consideration involves pregnancy. RH incompatibility between an O-negative mother and an RH-positive fetus can cause hemolytic disease of the newborn, a condition where the mother's immune system att attacks fetal red blood cells. Preventive treatment with RH immunoglobulin now makes this manageable, but it highlights how sensitive the RH system is in human reproduction. O-negative blood is rare, pure, and universally useful evolution's minimalist design turned into a medical lifeline. Number six, a negative. A negative is found in less than 2% of people worldwide. It shares the same fundamental traits as A positive efficient bacterial immunity and adaptation to plant based diets, but without the RH factor. That absence makes A negative blood rarer and more medically significant. Because A negative individuals can only receive blood from A negative or O negative donors, transfusion options are limited. This scarcity gives their blood high priority in hospitals and emergency stockpiles. The RH factor also plays a critical role during pregnancy. If an A-negative mother carries an RH-positive fetus, her body may develop antibodies that threaten future pregnancies. Medical monitoring and preventive treatments are therefore essential. Physiologically, a negative blood retains the same evolutionary legacy of agricultural societies, strong immune responses, high clotting potential, and efficient adaptation to stable, plant-heavy diets. However, its rarity underscores how small genetic variations can have large effects on population health and blood compatibility. In a sense, A-negative represents precision in evolution, a finely tuned system that works best under stable conditions, but requires careful management when biology crosses its boundaries. Number seven, B-negative. B-negative blood is exceptionally rare, present in only about 1% of the global population. It can receive transfusions only from B-negative or O-negative donors, which makes it a critical and often limited medical resource. Evolutionary genetics suggests that the B antigen likely developed among nomadic groups migrating across Central Asia thousands of years ago. These populations experienced constant environmental changes, from freezing plains to tropical valleys, and their immune systems evolved to handle a broad range of bacterial and dietary challenges. The negative RH factor adds another layer of rarity, resulting from specific gene variations that spread unevenly across continents. Physiologically, B-negative individuals share the adaptive metabolism of B-positives, capable of processing varied nutrient sources efficiently. Their immune systems show distinct reactivity to gut bacteria and certain viruses, making them both robust and occasionally unpredictable in their responses to infection. 
Because of its scarcity, B-negative blood plays a vital role in transfusion medicine. Every donation counts, and its unique combination of adaptability and rarity makes it an irreplaceable piece of human biological diversity. Number 8. AB-negative. AB-negative is the rarest blood type on the planet, found in less than 0.5% of people. It carries both A and B antigens, but lacks the RH factor, creating one of the most distinct antigen profiles known in human biology. While AB-positive individuals are universal recipients, AB-negatives have a different advantage. Their plasma is universal. This means their plasma can be given to patients of any blood type, making AB-negative plasma invaluable in emergency and trauma care. Because of this, blood banks treat every AB-negative donation as a high-priority resource. From an evolutionary perspective, AB-negative represents the extreme edge of genetic diversity, the outcome of rare combinations between A, B, and RH-negative lineages. Its global rarity also makes it a marker of complex ancestry and population mixing throughout human history. In biological terms, AB-negative blood is a quiet anomaly, scarce, medically precious, and symbolically powerful. It captures the full spectrum of human variation, reminding us that even the rarest traits can carry extraordinary value for life itself. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.